following story is to be sent to Mr. Paul Smith, the San Francisco Chronicle, San Francisco, California. 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 Including light armored cars. One thousand four hundred and seventy motor cars, three hundred and nine rolling stock, two torpedo boats, and large quantities of fuel, benzene, coal oil, and also a large amount of foodstuffs, building materials, and other military materials. Second, enemy aircraft shot down or destroyed in the Battle of Hong Kong amounted to fourteen. Third, in the same battle. The Japanese army forces sank or destroyed four naval vessels and 13 other ships. Fourth, 11,241 11, enemy troops were captured and 1,555 1, killed on the battlefield. Fifth, the Japanese forces suffered 675 killed and 1,404 injured. The announcement added that the war materials captured is regarded to increase at the aforementioned figures that disposed by the end of last year. The Imperial Headquarters then announced the following war results gained up to January 3rd in other war fronts except Hong Kong and the Philippines. First, war materials captured are 17 planes, 5,183 rifles, 1,165 machine guns, 206 guns with 45 heavy guns included, 98,255 cannonballs, 81 tanks and armored cars, 2,830 motor cars, 316 rolling stock, two torpedo boats and a large quantities of benzene, tomb oil, coal oil and others. A large amount of foodstuffs, building materials, and that the war materials were also captured. Second, the Japanese army forces shut down or destroyed 559 enemy planes, of which 416 are fighters and 143 are bombers. Three, the Japanese army forces sank or destroyed 54 naval and transport vessels, including two destroyers, one submarine, nine gunboats, and four torpedo boats. Four. The Japanese forces captured 13,864 prisoners and confirmed 2,105 enemy troops killed and left on the battlefield. Fifth, during the same period, the Japanese forces suffered 752 killed and 1,835 others injured. The Japanese army forces also lost 81 planes and suffered the loss of five vessels sunk and 16 others damaged. The announcement added, I note, that war results achieved in the Battle of the Philippine Islands are now under investigation and not included in this announcement except for the war results gained by the Army Air Force. Message Bengali. Brilliant war successes gained by the Japanese Army Forces and the Malay Peninsula, the Philippines, and the British Borneo up to yesterday, January 6th, was summarized by the Army Section of Imperial Headquarters in its latest communique issued Wednesday afternoon in the following way. On the Malayan Warfront. First, in the area along the western coast of Malaya, the Japanese forces, which occupied Ipoh on December 28th, further continued to chase the fleeing enemy and open their attack against the enemy, concentrating on the strong position at Kanpal on December 30th. By the units of the Japanese forces attacked Kanpal from the north, other powerful units advanced southward along the right bank of the Sungay Tinta River and uh, pressed Kanpal from the western side. Meanwhile, crack units of the Japanese Seaborne Mechanized Corps landed on the lower reaches of the Bo Nam River, Bo Nam River and intercepted the enemy's retreat. Due to this typing operation, enemy troops and the Kampal sector began to retreat on January 2nd, and the Japanese forces occupied Kampal on the same evening. Since then, the Japanese forces have been engaged in hot pursuit of the fleeing enemy and advanced to a certain strategic position late Monday afternoon and are further marching towards a certain direction. This is the Japan Broadcasting Corporation. 
continuing with the uh, Warsaw Exodus. The second, in the area along the eastern coast of Malaya, the Japanese forces which occupied Kwantan, which occupied Kwantan on December the 31st, further attacked some 5,000 enemy troops in an area southwest of Kwantan and occupied enemy air base in the nearby region on January the 2nd. By region on January the 2nd. By region on January the 2nd. By region on January the 2nd. The Japanese forces are now expanding their operations in the sector. Third. The Japanese Army Air Force, operating in the Malayan front, has been playing an important role in cooperating with the ground forces and annihilating the remaining enemy air bases in Malaya. The Japanese Army flyers also conducted successive air raids on Singapore, Naval Harbor, and gained remarkable war successes in the night attack against military facilities in Singapore. As a result of their activities, the enemy air force in Malaya has been virtually annihilated, annihilated with only a part of them still hiding in the Singapore area. In Luzon Island in the Philippines, powerful Japanese units following the occupation of Manila on January the 2nd pursued remnant Filipino and American troops in the Bataan Peninsula and captured enemy positions in Perak, Perak and Bacarol on January the 3rd and 4th. The punitive campaign in this particular direction is still being continued. The enemy has apparently received a tremendous shock from the successive losses of various strategic points as well as from oh. daring Japanese landing operations ever since the outbreak of the present war. The Philippine and American troops seem to be pinning forward on hope to the Bataan Peninsula and to the Corregidor Fortress, but they are obviously sustaining greater losses at the hands of cat Japanese planes at the time at the time of the war. According to Japanese military authorities on the spot, the enemy air force now seems to have been virtually smashed, for no substantial challenge is now being made. In the island of Mindanao, Japanese operations around uh, Davao has already been completed and peace and order is quickly being restored to normal. The situation in uh, British Borneo. Japanese forces, after their successful landing at Mili, Luton and the Seria, have secured the oil fields and are engaged in the reconstruction work. Other Japanese forces which succeeded in landing on uh, Kuchin, strategically important point in the western portion of British Borneo smashed the enemy force at about 1,000, capturing four tanks, 50 automobiles, 11 guns, and taking approximately 200 prisoners. On the 31st, powerful Japanese units completely occupied Burunei, capital of Burunei province. While on January 1st, Japanese seaborne mobile forces completely captured Rabuan Island, strategically important point at the mouth of Burunei River, and we're expanding their operations to the Imperial Headquarters now. The loss of one submarine and a slight damage to one Japanese cruiser in Philippine waters was announced by the Navy section of the Imperial Headquarters in a communique issued at 6.30 p.m. Tuesday afternoon. The Japanese cruiser, however, is able to continue operation, according to the communique, following an attack by an enemy aircraft of Davao on January the 1st. One Japanese submarine was lost at an undisclosed area in the Pacific. The communicator says that incessant air attacks by the Japanese naval air squadrons on January the 4th and the 5th had inflicted considerable damage on the enemy fortifications at Corridor and at Mary Valleys. An American, one American seaplane tender was damaged while one plane was shut down and four others damaged, the communicator added. At a certain point on the Malay front, the collapse of Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur, the most strategic point in uh, Selangor State, Malaya, is expected within a day or two by the Japanese forces intensifying their attacks since Tuesday morning. Meanwhile, it is reported that Lieutenant General Ponell, commander of the British forces in Malaya, and Major General Smith, commander of the British forces in southern Malaya, are supervising their troops on the first line to defend this outpost of the fortress of Singapore. Samar and Malaya. As a result of the Japanese occupation of Kwantan, enemy's important base on the eastern coast of Malaya, the enemy troops in defense of the same sector of Malaya were put into utter confusion and are fleeing southward.
That's Tuesday, not a single end there. Yes, sir, it is in the sector north of the Parshan River, which flows 60 kilometres south of Kwantan. Somewhere in Malaya. Japanese forces effected a surprise attack against a number of enemy trucks which were fleeing at a point south of Tanbalu, Tanbalu and destroyed 20 of them. Meanwhile, a Japanese air unit on Sunday discovered an enemy tank corps and immediately conducted a bombing attack upon them, inflicting heavy damage upon many of the tanks. Another air unit bombed several transport vessels of the enemy on the Malacca Straits and a direct hit was registered on a 3,000 ton freight boat, which was sent to the bottom. Sir Archibald Wavell, Commander-in-Chief of the British Far Eastern Forces, is regarded to have already given up the defence of Singapore, according to information reaching Shanghai. Despite his statement to the effect that he will fulfil his duties to the last moment for the defence of Singapore, General Wavell, has recently been appointed Commander-in-Chief of the British South Western Pacific Forces, has not arrived in Singapore, and is reported to have established headquarters in Surabaya, a safety zone in the Dutch East Indies not involved in the current conflict. Judging from General Wavell's present attitude, Singapore seems to have been abandoned, adding another cause for anti-war sentiment among the British soldiers. That is the end of the news. You have been listening to transmission number six of the Japan Broadcasting Corporation. Throughout the transmission, throughout the transmission number six, transmission, throughout the transmission number six. of the enemy third war zone and the enemy new fourth army at Wuhu district south of the Yangtze River in Chichao district in uh, Anhui province and at Chantung on the southern bank of the Yangtze River at the end of December last year Japanese forces are now continuing their annihilation campaign against the enemy forces inflicting infesting the region south and north of the Yangtze River the total war results gained by the Japanese forces, made known up till Saturday evening, are as follows. The Chinese dead, buried by the Japanese, reached 2,591, while 318 were taken prisoners. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes our news button, brought to you through the facilities of the Broadcasting Corporation of Japan. Broadcasting Corporation of Japan. Corporation of Japan. In Corporation of Japan.
Come on, get aboard here, boy. Here we go. Well, I'll tell you what, that train seems to be stalled a bit. Now, don't get me wrong, it didn't sound that way on Saturday night. I know what you're thinking. We better drop the whole subject right now. Uh, on the other turntable, all set up and ready to go, ready to take over in case of emergency, we have Benny Goodman and his sextet. Aerial advantage in Malaya, and still more territory in that sector. Singapore, the Japanese have reached the vital... Gained by the Japanese Army forces in the Malay Peninsula, the Philippines, and British Korea. This is the Broadcast Central Corporation of Japan. We continue with the news from Tokyo. The loss of one submarine and a slight damage to one Japanese cruiser in Philippine waters was announced by the Navy section of the Imperial Headquarters in a communique issued at 6:30 p.m. at a certain point on the Malay front. The collapse of Kuala Lumpur. The most strategic point in Selangor State is expected within a minute. This is Radio Tokyo. We continue with the work. Somewhere in Malaya. Japanese forces effected a surprise attack against a number of enemy trucks, which were fleeing at a point south of Kambaru and destroyed 20 of them. Meanwhile, a Japanese air unit on Sunday discovered an enemy attack car and immediately conducted a bombing attack upon them, inflicting heavy damage upon many of the tanks. Another air unit bombed several transport vessels of the enemy in the Malacca Strait. A direct hit was registered on a 3,000-ton freighter that sank immediately. Sir Archibald Wavell, commander-in-chief of the British Far Eastern Forces, was regarded to have already abandoned Singapore, according to <laughs> somewhere in Malaya. British officers and soldiers who were taken prisoner are not ashamed of their surrender to the Japanese. Reports a Japanese war correspondent saying that one of the war prisoners asked the military authorities through the correspondent who called at one of the detention camps to print their names on Japanese papers in order that their parents and family members may know that they are safe and sound in the camp. Among these British war prisoners is Sub Lieutenant Robert Hall, 24 years old, who was formerly a clerk at a London bank. Bidding farewell to his mother, he left England in June last year and arrived at Singapore in the beginning of August. He was caught by the Japanese ships near East Pole when he was engaged in reconnoitering duties at the head of a party of ten soldiers. Somewhere in the Philippines, Japanese army planes Monday heavily attacked Lee Mai, as well as a point about six miles north of Malibu in the Bataan Peninsula, setting a blaze enemy barracks there. Meanwhile, two Curtis T-42 fighters, which occurred Monday over a Japanese base, were brought down by a terrific barrage of Japanese anti-aircraft fire. Shanghai. According to information from Washington, the United States Army authorities have at last recognized the sealed fate of the Philippines. They intimated that the Japanese advance is getting ever more fierce and is difficult to check. While the American forces under General MacArthur now stationed in northwestern Manila, have at last shortened the defense line to within nine miles of the city. The same information happened. Manila. The first of course is captured by the retreating American forces under General MacArthur, which caused a number of fires at various points in the city of Manila. Peace and order in the Philippines, in the Philippine capital, are rapidly being restored due to the efforts of the Japanese troops and the cooperative attitude of the Filipino citizens. City crown and suburban railway services have already been restored, and movie houses have been reopened. Under bright electric lights, the citizens have already resumed their daily activities. Many high officials of the Philippine government who remained in the capital despite the evacuation of the government organs are also cooperating with the Japanese for the reconstruction of the city. Mr. George Vargas, Chief Secretary of the Philippine Government has been nominated as the Mayor of Greater Manila. Radio Tokyo continues with the news. So, the British High Command in East Asia announced 
that the Japanese forces still the landed fresh troops on Western and North Borneo. Western is a fishing town along Brunei Bay. Lisbon. Japanese army units have occupied a certain enemy base in southern Burma, situated between Victoria Point and the second place, and the first of their blitzkrieg advance from Victoria Point and the Malay Burma border, a London dispatch reaching Lisbon with them. Shanghai. Japanese air units early on Tuesday morning attacked a certain enemy airfield in the vicinity of Rangoon. According to a report reaching Shanghai from Rangoon, the Japanese air raid was so intense that neither enemy fighters nor enemy anti-aircraft gunfire could put up any noticeable resistance, the report is. Shanghai. The United States government announced Tuesday night that a number of American minesweepers were subjected to Japanese bombardment in East Asiatic waters, according to a dispatch from Stockholm. The Japanese bombing is reported to have lasted for seven hours. This is Radio Tokyo. We continue with the news. The spokesman of the Board of Information, Tomokazu Hori, on Wednesday, told a foreign press correspondent that he had no particular information regarding actual citizens in Manila. However, Mr. Hori said, he saw some broadcast news reports of enemy countries, which stated that actual nationals are treated like enemy nationals. Also, that all foreigners were not allowed out in the streets. Such reports are entirely false, the spokesman said, adding, it might be possible that the Japanese authorities asked all people to remain at their homes for a day or two until the situation became more settled. However, the treatment of the people in Manila will be varied according to their nationality, and of course, the Axis people will be treated quite differently from enemy nationals. Question as to the rumors that the Philippine government is now under the pressure of the United States to continue fighting Japan against their wishes, the spokesman replied, I can't tell about that, but we have had reports that there is a strong tendency among the Philippine people to cooperate with Japan. They asked whether the people of the Kopan Hemisphere are treated as enemies. Mr. Hore pointed out that in Japan, some Indian subjects of Britain have been treated as non-enemies by the finance ministry and have been exempted from the freezing act. So, generally speaking, when East Asiatic people under oh, British and Amer United States rule show willingness to cooperate with Japan, their treatment will be more generous than that of enemy nationals. The spokesman concluded by saying, we have no ill feeling for those who are compelled by Britain and the United States to fight against Japan. Radio Tokyo continues with the news. Detailed reports on the condition of the city of Manila upon the entry of Japanese forces revealed that none of the alleged churches and cultural institutions had been damaged by the Japanese bombers, as claimed by the Americans. Filipino residents of the city voiced appreciation and admiration for the consideration given these places of worship as one of centers of culture which was spared from destruction. Mass services were conducted as usual on Sunday, while the inhabitants of the city, convinced that the Japanese church bear no enmity toward them, are first resuming their normal activities. Charges claiming an indiscriminate attack on these institutions were completely unfounded, leading to the belief that these fabricated reports were aimed at bringing the Latin Americans on the side of the Anglo-American front prior to the forthcoming conference to be held at Rio de Janeiro. Any charges concerning religion now served as a murderer in the unholy alliance entered into by the British and the Americans with the atheist communists. President Roosevelt himself has not as yet found a proper explanation for this fact. Admitting sweeping victories achieved by the Japanese forces in the Pacific areas, the Red Star, Soviet military organ on Saturday, editorial revealed the conclusion of the Pacific War, with all of the Japanese victory as a foregone conclusion. It was asserted that the Anglo-American military positions and mineral resources at Hong Kong, Manila, and British Borneo are being steadily turned over to the Japanese, and that the situation has been reversed, with what has become liabilities to the Anglo-American side being converted into Japanese assets. The influential Soviet paper lauded the far-seeing tone of the Japanese theories, which were said to have agreed in pointing to the grave mistake committed by the American politicians to cast aside the traditional Monroe doctrine in order to carry out an imperialistic invasion into East Asia after the American victory over the Spanish Empire. 
opinions of world observers are often unanimous. The Red Star continues. In blaming President Roosevelt, Maxine Simpson for the swift and easy annihilation of the American Pacific fleet within a week of the Pacific War. Somewhere in the Philippines, with the extension of war results being attained by the powerful Japanese forces in the Philippines, more United States Philippine Army officers and soldiers are capitulating to the might of the Japanese Army. Already, more than 200 officers and men, including Captain John H. Payne, are interned at a prisoner's camp in an undesignated place. Revealing the inconsistency of the United States policy, these prisoners in unison ask Japanese officers and men, why does the United States suppress the establishment of an East Asia Corporate Service Fair by Japan? When asked for an inside story of the United States Army on the Philippine front, Captain Payne remarked that after his men were annihilated by a Japanese tank corps, he and the remaining 20 of his men wandered all through the night to find a way out. He said, he was greatly distressed to find the reason why the United States must fight Japan. After pointing out that it is not an exaggeration to say that the majority of American troops in the Philippines are agonized by the Southwest War, Captain Payne affirmed that the entire situation was attributable to the lack of recognition on the part of America of the position and power of Japan. Second Lieutenant H. Moran said that upon receiving an order to crush the Japanese landing ship, he, as commander of the task squad, advanced to the first front. But no sooner had his squad reached the front, and the Japanese tank corps was already ashore, and effected a fierce attack against the squad with light and team. The second lieutenant's tank was destroyed by a single shot from a Japanese tank, and he was immediately taken prisoner, he said. A third year, when at home they were told that Japanese tanks are so crude and poor that they are not suited for real warfare, and to the contrary, they are amazed with the mechanism of the Japanese tank and with the marvelous training and morale of the Japanese to operate them. He also confessed that he was ashamed of the lack of recognition which prevails among the United States Army men. A Filipino first private, Jacinto Dorinda, who was a third year student at an engineering school when he was drafted into service a week before the hostilities, stated at the beginning that from the beginning he was left on the first front and his life there was very tormented. An American commander with his guard corps was always watching him and his colleagues. Naturally, he said, he and his colleagues were hoping that the Japanese would soon approach them. And after the Japanese troops had landed nearby and the fighting began, he with 40 others escaped from the American position and swam across the river and surrendered to the Japanese. That, ladies and gentlemen, concludes the lady and man for the star. This is David Crystal operating in the 19th and 25 meter bathroom. And our radio show still continues with our new commentary for today. New commentary for today. Commentary for today. Their rate was so intense that no enemy anti aircraft gun could very well challenge the Japanese fighters. Lisbon, completely panic stricken by the intensification, completely panic stricken by the intensification, completely panic stricken by the intensification. The results of a naval and aerial battles in such territory by British planes was regarded as settled by British apology. A new interpretation of incident is being reported in the bombing areas. As the suspicion is aroused, it was not a bombing, but mis mis by mistake, but a planned attack involving some elements of intrigue. Captain Circles observed that the attack was the culmination of the projected conduct project conducted by British Ambassador Hugh Gesson, who frantically attempted to win the Angkor government on the British side. Setting up another project to disturb the minds of the Turks, after failing to instigate Turkish students, agents of British attempted to apply some form of check to the Turkish situation in the places of British consent to the Soviet demand to form the second war front. These circles pointed out. And that, ladies and gentlemen, concludes your news bulletin. That, gentlemen, concludes your news bulletin. That,